Okay, hello everybody once again. Another video on Linux and this is the continuation of the last video. We have learned about shadow password system. We know the location of the password file. We know the location of the shadow file. We know how to open these two files with the help of an editor. And we now understand the the content that is saved in these two files. We know how to read and understand the information that is provided in these two files. So let me show you how to manage users with the help of other commands. We will learn how to add a user which will be reflected obviously in both these files, password file and shadow file. And then I'll be using these two commands, add user and user add. These are two commands that will let you add the users into your system very similar commands and then we'll learn how to reset a password and then we'll also learn how to, how to delete a user how to remove a user with the help of user del commands four commands in this video and without wasting time let me activate the terminal window so i'll press ctrl alt and t on my keyboard which activates the terminal window so first of all i'll show you how to add a user with the help of add user command here Okay, so in order to add a user, you have to be root. So I'll type in sudo, and the user, the command is add user, and then the name of the user. So I'm adding a user by the name of son, and I have to be root in order to do in order to be able to do that. So I'm typing sudo, and then this is add user is the command. Okay, so if I press enter, the it's asking for the password of the current user engine. So I'll type in the password and comes up with some information adding a new group son and the GID group ID is 1001 adding a new user by the name of son and the UID is 1001 the home directory of the user and asking for the new Unix password so I'll type in the password again now you don't have to provide this information but let me add some information here room number you don't have to provide again any phone number but just for the demonstration purpose I'll add these in uh, this information okay is this information correct correct okay so the user son has been created let me show you if the home directory has been created for the user son or not. I'll say cd space and then two dots and which will take us to home directory, one directory before the current directory. And if I say ls, show a folder for, for user son has been created, which is the home directory of the user. If I say cd son and if I say ls, these are the files that have been created in this folder. Clear okay, screen and let me show you if I press CD, the current working directory is home power slash sun. Okay. So if I say CD and press enter it will take us to home directory of the user angel which is currently logged on okay let me show you the password file just to make sure that this user has been create, uh, created in the password file so sudo you have to be root to be able to do that and I'll use gedit which is an editor you can use vi or any other editor that you have uh, on your system and the location of the file is etc and then name of the file is passwd if i press enter and if i go down towards the bottom of the file user son has been created this simply means that password information is available in shadow file this is the user id this is the group id this is the these are the comments that we added name and room number and phone number and this is the home directory and the default shell of the user 
which is bin batch and I'll show you how to change defaults in a minute so control Q to quit and I'll also show you the shadow file okay again go down to the bottom and user sun is there this is the encrypted password and all the information that we learned about in last video is available here control Q to quit and then let me remove this user let me delete this user again you have to be root and user user del minus R will make sure that the home directory has been removed okay and then the name of the user so this is the user that we want to delete this is the this is the command actually and you have to be root to be able to do that flag minus R means it will remove the home directory this one okay and then I'll simply press enter and the user son is gone so if I say ls once again if I say cd space and then two dots which will take us to home directory and then if I say ls the folder by the name of sun has been removed and if I say sudo g edit etc which is the location of the password file okay and same thing again the user son has been removed control Q to quit and then I'll show you the shadow file as well and again if you go down towards the bottom the last information in this file is about user angel and the user son has been removed control Q once again and clear the screen okay the next command that we want to understand we want to learn this command now user add but before we actually try this command let me show you another slide now this command comes with a number of optional flags okay so you can use you can simply use user add command and it will create a user but then there are some flags that you can use additionally for you to, to have more control on how you create a user okay so the first command first flag is well there's a long list but these are the these are some of the the basic flags these are the important flags that I'm showing you so minus capital D will actually show you the defaults and you can also change the defaults with the help of this flag let me show you what I mean so control alt T terminal window once again sudo user add minus capital D these uh, the password okay so these are the defaults that are saved you can change uh, for example this shell you can change the default shell if you create a user with the help of user add command okay so I'll minimize this the next is minus a small d okay so it will this will define the home directory of the user and minus m will create a home directory if it does not exist already minus a small s will define a shell for the user it will ignore the defaults in that case minus e date on which the user account will be disabled minus b defines the base directory for home directory of the user you can define your own user id minus g initial group member not the initial group number and minus capital G additional groups by name and minus C are the comments okay so let me show you what all this means okay so we want to create user son once again or we want to create another user and this time we want to use this user add command instead of add user okay so again you have to be root in order to be able to create a user and then the command which is user add and I want to use 
the minus D flag which is to define the home directory of the user which is home and son so this is the home directory of the user son and minus M flag means create the home directory if it does not exist then I also want to use comments so I want to use store the name of the user designation of the user and phone number of the user and then I also want this user to be a member of so I want to define the the additional group membership and then the group is CD-ROM for example and then you have to define what user you're creating so this is the name of the user now okay so the command does not have to be complex but I'm trying to use some flags so you can understand the functionality if I press enter the user son has been created same thing again so we will say sudo g edit first of all we want to check whether the directory has been created or not so pwd which is the and I'll go back one folder and ls you the home directory for user son has been created and let me also show you the password file so sudo g edit etc password so here it is user son the information is in uh, the shadow file the user id and the group id the information the comments that we entered name the designation and the phone number and the default uh, the the home directory for the user and this information has been taken from the defaults because we did not define this this is the default uh, shell of the user okay okay I just want to show you one more thing before I finish this video and we'll learn the rest of the things in the next video so I also made this user son a member of this group CD-ROM and let me prove that you, to you so I'll say sudo g edit and and this time I'll open the, the group file okay so this is the group file and this is the group CD-ROM that we wanted to make user son a member of okay and sure enough user angel and user son both are members of this group so that's it for now I don't have enough time to continue this uh, this video but this uh, the uh, the discussion will continue in next video thank you very much